today came to be? How did our ancestors figure out what was edible and what was not? Welcome to the intriguing world of food history. A world where every morsel we consume, every recipe we follow, has a rich story woven into its existence. From the first flame that cooked a piece of meat to the intricate recipes of today's gourmet cuisine, food has traced an incredible journey. You see, food is not just about survival, but rather it's a cornerstone of civilization. It's about cultural identity, about heritage, about coming together. It is as much about the people who grow it, prepare it and consume it, as it is about the ingredients themselves. Imagine the first curious human who dared to taste honey, despite the stinging bees. Or the one who discovered that certain berries could be poison, but others, a sweet treat. Consider the bravery of those who first consumed oysters, or the inventiveness of those who figured out how to turn wheat into bread. Our journey begins with the earliest known foods, tracing back to the dawn of humankind. We will then move into the agricultural revolution, where we began to cultivate our food, fundamentally changing our way of life. From there, we will explore the spice trade, an era that opened up the world and brought diverse flavors to our tables. We'll then sail into the age of exploration, where new continents brought new foods, and the world as we knew it expanded. We will also delve into the industrialization era, where food production took a dramatic turn and modern cuisine was born. And finally, we'll take a tour around the globe, celebrating the richness and diversity of world cuisines. So, are you ready to embark on this tantalizing journey? To trace the steps of our ancestors? and learn how the food on your plate has evolved over centuries? If so, buckle up your taste buds and open your mind to a feast of knowledge. Join us as we delve into the mouth-watering chronicles of our food's history. Our journey begins around two million years ago with our early ancestors. Picture a world vastly different from our own, a time when supermarkets and farm-to-table restaurants were not even a glimmer in the eye of human imagination. Our early ancestors, Homo habilis, roamed the earth, their diets largely dictated by the whims of nature. In this era, the concept of dinner was a far cry from our modern understanding. The menu, so to speak, was predominantly plant-based, featuring fruits, nuts, leaves and roots. But don't let this fool you into thinking it was all salads and smoothies. Insects and small animals also made the occasional appearance on the prehistoric plate, providing an essential source of protein. As our ancestors evolved into Homo erectus, so too did their culinary prowess. Hunting became a crucial part of their lifestyle, leading to a diet rich in animal protein. This shift in dietary habits played a significant role in our evolution, contributing to the development of larger brains and more complex cognitive functions. But the true culinary revolution came with the discovery of fire. Imagine, if you will, the first human to cook food. The transformation of raw ingredients into something more palatable must have seemed like magic. Meat became easier to chew and digest, and the heat from cooking unlocked new flavors, making food more enjoyable. Beyond these immediate benefits, cooking had a profound impact on our ancestors' way of life. It allowed them to extract more energy from food, contributing to further brain growth. Additionally, gathering around a fire to eat promoted social bonding, laying the foundations for complex societies. From these humble beginnings, our relationship with food has continued to evolve, shaped by necessity, curiosity and innovation. The early human diet of fruits, nuts, insects and meat, transformed by the power of fire, set the stage for the incredible diversity of cuisines we enjoy today. The discovery of fire was a game changer, setting the stage for culinary evolution. And as we journey forward through history, we'll see just how much this early innovation continues to impact our food customs and traditions, defining the way we eat, cook, and share meals with others. As humans evolved, so did their methods of obtaining food. A simple yet profound statement that encapsulates the monumental shift in human history we know as the agricultural revolution. Once upon a time, our ancestors roamed the earth as nomadic hunter-gatherers. They were at the mercy of the seasons, reliant on whatever berries, nuts, or game they could find. But around 10,000 years ago, something extraordinary happened. In a few select corners of the world, people began to settle down. They exchanged their wandering ways for a more stationary life. And what prompted this drastic shift? 
the birth of agriculture. The agricultural revolution saw humanity's ingenuity at its finest. People began to understand that they could control their food sources. They learned to sow seeds, tend to crops, and reap the fruits of their labor. This was no small feat. It was a radical departure from the finders, keepers mentality of hunting and gathering. This was about planning, patience, and foresight. The domestication of plants was a game changer. It started with the staples, wheat, barley, peas, lentils, then came fruits, vegetables, and herbs. These early farmers transformed the landscape, turning wild growth into ordered fields of abundance. But plants weren't the only ones to be tamed. The agricultural revolution also saw the domestication of animals. Dogs were likely the first valued for their hunting skills and companionship. But soon, sheep, goats, cows, and pigs were also brought into the fold. These animals offered more than just meat. They provided milk, wool, and labor, making them invaluable to the farming communities. The agricultural revolution was a time of immense change. It wasn't just about food. It was about survival, prosperity, and laying the foundation for societal structures. It paved the way for the development of cities, trade, and eventually civilization as we know it. The agricultural revolution was more than just a shift in food production. It was a turning point in our history, a step that propelled us towards the world we live in today. So, the next time you bite into a crisp apple or enjoy a slice of bread, remember the ancient farmers who made it all possible. The agricultural revolution set the groundwork for civilization as we know it. Spices, the gold of the ancient world, played a critical role in the history of food. These tantalizing treasures were more than just flavor enhancers. They were symbols of wealth, status, and power, and their allure sparked global explorations and even wars. Let's take a step back to the ancient world. Picture bustling markets filled with vibrant colors and intoxicating aromas. The air is heavy with the scent of cinnamon from Sri Lanka, black pepper from India, and nutmeg from the Banda Islands. These and many other spices were the coveted commodities of their time, so valuable that they were often used as currency. The spice trade was not just about food, it was a catalyst for cultural exchange. As traders moved from east to west, they brought with them not just their precious cargo, but also their customs, traditions, and culinary techniques. This exchange led to the fusion of flavors we see in many cuisines today. For example, the use of pepper in Italian cooking, or the incorporation of cinnamon in Middle Eastern dishes, can be traced back to this trade. The spice trade also had a profound influence on global history. It drove exploration, leading to the discovery of new lands and the establishment of trade routes. The quest for spices even led to the age of exploration, with explorers like Christopher Columbus and Vasco da Gama setting sail in search of faster routes to the spice-rich east. But the spice trade was not without its dark side. It led to clashes between nations, exploitation, and the colonization of spice-producing lands. These events left a lasting impact on the regions involved, shaping their histories and cultures in ways that are still evident today. Despite these complexities, one cannot deny the flavorful impact of the spice trade on global cuisine. It brought an array of vibrant flavors to the world's palate, transforming the way we cook and eat. From the humble pepper shaker on your table to the complex spice blend in your favorite curry, the influence of the spice trade is everywhere. The spice trade left a flavorful impact on cuisines worldwide. The age of exploration led to a global exchange of foods that reshaped diets around the world. This period, from the late 15th to the early 17th century, was a time of significant discovery and exchange, changing the culinary landscape forever. One of the most significant aspects of this era was the Columbian Exchange, named after Christopher Columbus. This was a period of intense and unprecedented swapping of agriculture, culture and even diseases between the Old World, Europe, Asia and Africa and the New World, the Americas. Before this exchange, imagine a world where Italians didn't have tomatoes for their pasta sauces, or where the Irish didn't have potatoes for their hearty stews. Yes, these staples of today's diets were once exotic newcomers, brought to Europe from the Americas during the Age of Exploration. On the flip side, the New World was introduced to wheat, rice, onions and livestock like cattle and sheep, ingredients that would go on to be cornerstones of many American dishes. The humble wheat, for instance, became the foundation of bread, a staple food in many Western societies. 
but it wasn't just ingredients that were shared. Cooking techniques and methods traveled across the oceans too. The Spanish, for example, brought their methods of preserving food, like pickling and salting, to the Americas. And let's not forget about the sweets. Sugarcane, native to Southeast Asia, was brought to the New World by the Spanish and Portuguese. This led to an explosion of sweet treats in Europe, from cakes to candies that continue to delight our palates today. The age of exploration was a time of culinary upheaval and innovation. Foods traveled around the globe, transforming local cuisines and creating new culinary traditions. These exchanges were not always smooth or welcomed initially. There was resistance, adaptation and fusion, but ultimately these exchanges led to the rich variety of food cultures we have today. The age of exploration stirred the global pot, leading to the diverse cuisines we enjoy today. So next time you bite into a pizza or enjoy a juicy burger, remember the journey that your food has taken to reach your plate. The Industrial Revolution brought about significant changes to food production and consumption. With the advent of machines and technology, food production was no longer confined to the fields and the hearth. The Industrial Age introduced canned food, a revolutionary concept which changed the way we preserve and consume food. Canning, invented in the early 19th century by a Frenchman named Nicolas Appert, allowed food to be stored for longer periods, making it possible to transport food over long distances without spoilage. This invention not only changed military logistics, but also enabled people to have access to a variety of foods throughout the year. Around the same time, another significant invention appeared on the horizon the refrigerator. With the ability to control temperatures, food could now be kept fresh for extended periods, reducing waste and increasing the efficiency of food storage. Refrigeration also opened up a whole new world of culinary possibilities, allowing for the creation of dishes that required cold storage. As the industrial age progressed, we saw the rise of fast food and processed foods. The first fast food restaurants emerged in the United States in the early 20th century, offering quick, convenient meals to a fast-paced society. Fast food chains like McDonald's and KFC soon spread across the globe, changing eating habits worldwide. Alongside this, the advent of processed foods brought about a whole new era of convenience cooking. These foods, often high in salt, sugar and fat, could be quickly prepared and were designed to have a long shelf life. However, this convenience came with a price. The proliferation of fast food and processed foods has been linked to a rise in obesity and other health issues. The emphasis on speed and efficiency often compromised the nutritional quality of food. Industrialization transformed food, for better or worse, into what we know today. It brought convenience and variety to our tables, but also posed challenges to our health and well-being. As we move forward, the question remains, how can we leverage the benefits of industrialization while creating a sustainable and healthy food system? Now let's embark on a culinary journey around the world. Our first stop is China, believed to be one of the birthplaces of culinary arts. From the spicy, tongue-numbing flavors of Sichuan to the light, aromatic tastes of Cantonese cuisine, China's culinary landscape is as diverse as its geography. Moving westward, we arrive in India, a country that has given us a symphony of flavors. Indian cuisine is a beautiful blend of various regional cooking styles distinguished by their sophisticated use of spices, grains and vegetables. The artistry of Indian cuisine lies in the delicate balance of sweet, sour, spicy and tangy flavours. Let's not forget Italy, the heartland of pasta and pizza. Italian cuisine, with its emphasis on fresh, high-quality ingredients, is a testament to the country's rich cultural heritage. Whether it's the creamy risottos of the north or the seafood pastas of the south, Italy's culinary tradition is an expression of its local produce and regional diversity. And then there's Mexico, a country that has redefined the world's understanding of corn. From the humble tortilla to the complex mole sauces, Mexican cuisine is a vibrant mosaic of indigenous and Spanish influences. But if we are to highlight a country with the richest food culture, it has to be France. French cuisine, with its meticulous techniques and high standards, has shaped the culinary world like no other. From the buttery croissants of Paris to the hearty cassoulets of the South, French cuisine is a celebration of the country's love for food. It is the epitome of gastronomic excellence, a testament to the country's long-standing culinary tradition. Yet, as we explore the richness of world cuisines, 
we realize that it's not just about the food. It's about the stories, the traditions, and the people behind these dishes. It's about the way food brings us together, transcending borders and cultures. The diversity of world cuisines is a testament to our shared love for food. Food is more than just sustenance. It is a story of humanity. This remark isn't just a catchy opening line. It's a testament to our shared journey, a journey that we've traced together, plate by plate, through the annals of time. We've uncovered the fascinating origins of our earliest foods, from the primal roasting of meats to the humble beginnings of agriculture. We've sailed the spice-scented seas of trade and marveled at the daring culinary explorations that shaped our modern palates. We've seen how industrialization revolutionized our kitchens and reveled in the richness of world cuisines, each a unique testament to its people's history, culture and spirit. Our culinary adventure doesn't end here though. Just as our ancestors reinvented their diets, we too are on the cusp of a new era in food. The future of food is not just about what we eat, but how we grow, prepare and perceive it. How will climate change, population growth and technology reshape our plates? Will we embrace lab-grown meats and insects as protein sources? Will we see a rise in plant-based diets? Or will we unearth ancient grains and forgotten foods to feed a hungry world? The future also holds exciting culinary trends. We're already seeing a resurgence of fermentation and foraging, a growing interest in food as medicine, and the rise of global cuisine, blending global flavors with local ingredients. And let's not forget about the burgeoning food tech scene, with its promise of personalized nutrition, smart kitchens, and even 3D printed food. As we stand at this crossroads, we must remember that food is more than just fuel. It's a language that transcends borders, a tool of diplomacy, a symbol of hospitality, a medium of artistic expression, and a bearer of cultural identity. It's a shared heritage that tells us where we've come from and hints at where we're going. As we continue to write the history of food, what culinary adventures await us in the future? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. The journey is just as important as the destination. Imagine sinking your teeth into an explosion of flavor, a dish combining the tanginess of preserved lemons, the richness of slow-cooked lamb, and the subtle heat of harissa. This is the lamb tagine, a North African dish that has taken the world by storm in 2023. Let's dive deeper into the allure of this dish. Originating from the North African region, lamb tagine is traditionally a savory stew, slow-cooked to perfection in a tagine pot. The name tagine derives from the distinctive earthenware pot in which the dish is cooked, lending it an earthy flavor that's hard to replicate. In 2023, this humble dish has transcended its regional roots and risen to global fame. The very essence of lamb tagine lies in its unique blend of flavors and textures. The lamb, tender and succulent, melts in your mouth, while the preserved lemons lend a tangy contrast that sparks the palate. The crowning glory, however, is the harissa, a North African chili paste that adds a subtle heat, making each mouthful an adventure. What sets lamb tagine apart is its adaptability. Across continents, chefs have embraced and reinvented this dish, adding their unique twists. In America, you might find lamb tagine served with a side of creamy polenta, while in Europe, it might be paired with a glass of full-bodied red wine. Regardless of these variations, the heart of the dish, its bold, unapologetic flavors, remains unchanged. It's no wonder, then, that lamb tagine has carved a niche for itself in the global culinary scene. It's more than just a meal, it's a celebration of culture, tradition, and most importantly, taste. As we bid adieu to the lamb tagine, prepare to embark on a gastronomic journey through the year 2023. As the new year dawned, America introduced us to a reinvented classic, the buffalo cauliflower wings a simple yet elegant fusion of traditional American cuisine and the burgeoning trend of plant-based diets. This dish, with its fiery sauce and crispy golden brown florets, quickly became a hit in both American households and restaurants. The rise of plant-based diets in America is no new phenomenon. A growing awareness of the environmental, health and ethical implications of our food choices has led to a shift in the culinary landscape. 
More and more Americans are opting for meals that are not only delicious, but also kinder to our bodies and the planet. The buffalo cauliflower wings is a prime example of this shift. It takes the beloved American tradition of buffalo wings and gives it a plant-based twist. The cauliflower is coated with a spicy buffalo sauce, baked until it's crispy, and then served with a side of cool, creamy ranch dressing. It's a dish that satisfies the craving for something spicy and comforting without the meat. This reinvention of a classic comfort food took the food industry by storm in the early part of the year. It was not just a delicious new dish, but a symbol of change. It spoke to the evolving tastes and values of the American public, and the food industry had to sit up and take notice. Restaurants across the country started featuring buffalo cauliflower wings on their menus. It became a popular choice for both committed vegans and those simply looking to reduce their meat consumption. Grocery stores stocked up on pre-made versions, and recipe blogs exploded with different variations of the dish. The buffalo cauliflower wings phenomenon was more than just a trend. It was a testament to the power of innovation in the face of changing consumer demands. It showed that comfort food didn't have to be stuck in the past, but could evolve and adapt to fit our modern lifestyles. This reinvented comfort food paved the way for a year full of culinary surprises. It set the tone for a year of innovation and experimentation in the kitchen, proving that the realm of comfort food could be just as dynamic and exciting as any other culinary genre. It was the first, but certainly not the last, culinary surprise that the year had in store. In February, Canada warmed our hearts and bellies with a gourmet twist on their beloved poutine. This humble dish, a comforting blend of crispy fries, squeaky cheese curds and rich gravy, has always been a source of national pride. But in 2023, it underwent a delicious transformation. The year saw an explosion of creativity from Canadian chefs, who began experimenting with premium ingredients to elevate this classic comfort food to new gastronomic heights. Truffle, once reserved for the finest dining establishments, started making its way onto the poutine plates of local diners and food trucks. The seductive aroma of truffle paired with the earthy, savoury notes of the gravy created a symphony of flavours that had foodies swooning. But the innovation didn't stop there. Duck, a meat known for its rich, succulent taste, became a popular addition. The tender duck confit, paired with the crunch of the fries and the gooey cheese curds, resulted in a mouth-watering combination that was nothing short of a culinary masterpiece. And let's not forget the cheeses. Chefs began to stray from the traditional cheese curds, introducing a variety of premium cheeses into their poutine creations. Gouda, brie, and even blue cheese started melting their way into this Canadian staple, each adding their unique textures and flavors to the mix. Poutine's transformation didn't go unnoticed. The reimagined dish quickly became a culinary trend at food festivals and restaurants across the country. It wasn't just about indulgence, it was a celebration of Canadian culinary innovation. Chefs and food enthusiasts alike were captivated by the endless possibilities this humble dish offered, and it was this very fascination that led to its widespread popularity. With this, Canada proved that even a classic can learn new tricks. This renewed version of poutine is a testament to Canada's evolving food culture, a nod to the country's willingness to experiment and innovate, while still honouring its culinary heritage. It's a testament to the fact that when it comes to food, there's always room for creativity and improvement, even when dealing with a beloved classic. March brought us a taste of European elegance with the rise of the bouillabaisse, a traditional Provençal fish stew. As winter receded, a culinary renaissance was taking place in the kitchens of Europe. The bouillabaisse, a humble fish stew from the French region of Provence, was making waves once more. This time, it wasn't simply about the aromatic blend of herbs, spices and fresh local fish. It was about a movement a movement towards sustainable seafood practices. In March of 2023, the bouillabaisse became more than just a dish. It transformed into a symbol of Europe's commitment to sustainable fishing. Each bowl of this hearty, fragrant stew told a story, a story of respecting the bounty of the sea, of choosing quality over quantity, of favoring local produce over far-flung imports. Its resurgence wasn't just seen in fine dining establishments, but also in the bustling markets of Marseille, the cosy bistros of Paris, and even the family kitchens of Barcelona. The bouillabaisse was everywhere, 
reminding us of the timeless appeal of simple, honest food prepared with care and respect for the environment. This traditional stew, with its rich broth and generous servings of fish, had always been a reflection of the Mediterranean's abundant marine life. But in March 2023, it took on a new significance. It became a symbol of Europe's dedication to preserving this abundance for future generations. The impact of this culinary resurgence was felt far beyond the confines of the kitchen. It sparked conversations about sustainable fishing practices, encouraged consumers to make more informed choices about the seafood they consumed, and inspired chefs across the continent to create dishes that were not just delicious, but also environmentally conscious. The success of the bouillabaisse was more than a mere culinary trend. It was a testament to Europe's commitment to sustainability and culinary excellence. It was a reminder that food is not just about taste and nutrition, but also about culture, tradition, and our relationship with the natural world. The Bouillabaisse's success was a testament to Europe's commitment to sustainability and culinary excellence. From April to December, the culinary world was a whirlwind of innovation and tradition. As the seasons changed, so did our palates, embracing a cascade of flavors and textures that marked the food trends of 2023. In April, Visa credit cards took the spotlight, offering a smorgasbord of dining credits that made fine dining more accessible. This movement was not just about indulgence, but also a celebration of culinary arts and the chefs behind them. May saw the popularity of multi-pet insurance policies rise, with companies like Healthy Paws and Lemonade offering coverage for prescription food. This underlined a significant shift in our understanding of nutrition, extending our health-conscious choices to our beloved pets. Come June, the focus shifted to the ocean's bounty. Seafood delicacies took center stage in restaurants across America, Canada, and Europe. Chefs experimented with traditional recipes, adding a contemporary twist to create dishes that were as visually stunning as they were delicious. July and August were all about summer freshness. Food lovers relished in the season's produce, and farm-to-table concepts thrived. This was a testament to the growing appreciation for sustainable and local produce. As autumn arrived in September, there was a noticeable embrace of comfort food. Yet this wasn't just about the classics. From America's new take on comfort food to Canada's rework of poutine, traditional dishes were reinvented, creating a fusion of old and new. October and November saw the rise of conscious dining. Restaurants started focusing more on providing holistic dining experiences, considering not just the food, but also the ambience, service, and sustainability practices. Finally, as we entered the festive season in December, the culinary scene was a blend of nostalgic favorites and innovative creations. The holiday season saw a surge in home cooking, with folks around the world experimenting with new recipes and reimagining old ones. As we wrapped up the year, it was clear that 2023 was a landmark year for gastronomy. It was a year of discovery and rediscovery, of embracing new trends while holding on to cherished traditions. It was a year that proved, once again, that food is not just about sustenance, but also about connection, celebration, and culture. As we look back on 2023, it's clear that it was a year of culinary triumphs. From coast to coast and across continents, we've seen a fusion of flavors, an innovation of ingredients, and a redefinition of what we call comfort food. In America, the Humble Burger was transformed, embracing a more sustainable and health-conscious approach. The introduction of the plant-based Beyond Burger marked a shift in the American palate, a nod towards a greener future without compromising on taste. Canada, on the other hand, took a classic and made it gourmet. Poutine, the beloved national dish, was reimagined in ways we could never have anticipated. Chefs took to their kitchens, experimenting with ingredients such as lobster and truffle a testament to the limitless possibilities of culinary creativity. But the year wasn't just about new takes on old favorites. 2023 also saw the rise of unique food trends, like the March Madness of foraged foods. From wild ramps to morel mushrooms, the trend of foraging shed light on the bounty of nature's pantry, reminding us that sometimes the best flavors are those that have been right under our noses. As we journeyed from April to December, the culinary world didn't miss a beat. The world of seafood was elevated to new heights, with restaurants across Europe serving up delicacies like the sea bass ceviche and the lobster thermidor. 
Each dish, a symphony of flavors, reaffirmed the ocean's status as a treasure trove of gastronomic delights. Looking back, it's clear that 2023 was more than just a year in food. It was a year that celebrated the diversity of global food culture, a year that pushed the boundaries of what we thought possible in the culinary world. From the tantalizing lamb tagine to the reimagined poutine, 2023 was a year that pushed the boundaries of flavor and tradition. Here's to another year of delicious discovery. Gratitude for tuning in. Loved our content. Craving more culinary adventures. Subscribe to Food Rec Rover on YouTube. Your support matters. Stay updated with the latest recipes and unforgettable gastronomic experiences. Await the next flavorful journey with us. Food we consume today came to be. How did our ancestors figure out what was edible and what was not? Welcome to the intriguing world of food history. A world where every morsel we consume, every recipe we follow,